Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about front-end developers. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, are there too many new front-end developers in the marketplace these days? Will the front-end become more competitive? Well, uh, I don't think so, depending on what you mean by more competitive, because the deficit of software developers is so massive that you could infuse the market with millions of people at this point and it wouldn't really matter. No, really, I want to say the, the main difference would be that you had more people to go through in the uh, in the hiring pipeline. That's it. That's all there would be to it. Uh, because you could at this point mass hire and you're still most likely not going to fill if you meet your yearly quota or quarterly quota depending on how you're hiring and so forth. Uh, software development in all aspects, well, it is a talent business. It's not the regular, like, there are absolutely professions where you can mass hire people and the saturation of the market is so high that you can literally spit in the air and find someone who's going to be able to do the job to satisfaction. But that software development is not one of those areas. It is without a doubt the most one of, if not the most difficult profession in the world at this point to find people for. And this has been true for quite a few years now, and I don't see that going anywhere, not in the front end space either, uh, because the, the the sad truth is that uh, the idea that some people have that this is so easy that it's just you know you sort of pick it up and then you do it and you get paid a lot of money is bullshit. It's complete bullshit. Uh, what the the reality is that in order to do this well and get like a stable career in this, you will have to invest quite a lot into this. It's not a cookie cutter type of deal where there are some even some higher educations where you sort of just learn. You know, you go to school, you learn the thing, and then people are going to pay you, uh, like your salary increases, and then you can sort of plug out mentally, and then that's, that's it. This is an extremely creative field, where I have worked with people who are, you know, they're, they, they have learned how to be software developers, but we can't use them, because they've only learned how to do some coding. They haven't actually learned how to use their brain for anything, and they're useless because you don't you can't just it's sort of as I like to say it's like being a musician if you just learn the chords on the guitar but you can't actually play a song or compose something then you're useless again like as an artist you're useless because you're not going to be able to produce the end result and there's two parts to being a software developer one part is that you have the technical skills the other part is that you can use those technical skills to actually solve problems for whatever company you're dealing with and there that combination is notoriously difficult to find because usually you have people who are either not they don't have the necessary technical skills and it's to that so that they can't actually learn the thing that you want them to learn they don't understand how to do things so it's too difficult so they give up or you have people who have the technical skills but lack the practical like that practical gene that is necessary in order to not just do academics but to actually apply those practical skills. It's sort of like any engineer or I mean anybody who works within a creative field where you have to combine scientific mindset or like if you want to call it that like practice like technical knowledge with creative and uh, cre uh, creative processes and being able to create things and stuff like that and as for talking about too many front-end developers I don't think we have too many in terms of like we have too many bad ones uh, but it's at least how I feel about it like I just continuously because front-end is unfortunately if we compare front-end with back-end, on average we have more front-end developers, at least I have more front-end de developers coming through the pipelines and 
that I talk to than anything else. And I suspect that that is sort of the same reason why there are quite a lot of PHP developers or Ruby developers or etc. etc. Because of my argument, which is that certain communities attract certain types of people. JavaScript is the same sort of beast, uh, probably the worst culprit here of any language I know of. Where if you want to be self-taught or you want to get into programming at the lowest possible complexity level, there are certain tech that you will organically bet on. It's really, really rare to find that a front-end developer has a background in actual computer science or engineering or anything like that. It's very common that it's almost the norm that the vast majority of them are self-taught or something like that. And it's not because self-taught people necessarily are bad. It's just that the amount, the, the likelihood of you finding, like the, the quantity of people you have coming in is higher, but the quantity of subpar knowledge is also higher. Because just because what you're basically you're you're lowering the threshold if that makes sense to get into like the pipeline and actually be part of this thing right which dilutes quality it's sort of like if you open up the olympics or any competition to the general population it does you are guaranteed basically that you're going to get a broader range of skills like the people who are at the high end will probably still stay at the high end but the people at the low end like there will be a lower lower like longer tail of skill or talent or fitness or whatever if you talk about sports and so forth and for uh, if you have never really thought about that a lot of competitions make fairly strict restrictions on proving yourself ahead of time before you get to compete because they want to keep the prestige level or like the talent level or like the the challenge le level of their competition as high as possible and you can't do that if you just let anybody in because the people who are like you know fairly uh, out of shape and so forth will try will like want to compete together with people who have been practicing or training for years and years and years and are like at the professional level we see this all the time in i have we have these local competitions here in my region and probably you have something as well where it's sort of free for all everybody comes and does it has some fun and so forth and so forth and so the um, the um, the event planners are usually trying to position people like it's sort of like in a race right you take the people who are probably very 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 fast in say a foot race or something like that and put them at the front so that they can run at max speed and then the people who want to take it a little bit easier they can be in the back so that they don't have to block all the people who really want to compete uh, for, for real right it's the same sort of deal in front end where you have a lot of the people who are at the back of the of the range who are like they self-taught like it was you know they want to get into this programming thing and front-end is usually easier uh, in as a beginner to to grasp than the more intimidating hardcore engineering back-end stuff and so you simply have more people and as a person hiring that's very annoying of course because uh, having more people doesn't necessarily mean that you have a solution to the hiring problem. It's just that you have more stuff, more, more CVs to go through. And on average, it takes longer, in my opinion at the very least, in terms of time spent looking at CVs to find a decent front-end developer versus finding a decent back-end developer. It's not, it, it, if you think about it this way, it might be harder to find one CV or one candidate to actually interview for a back-end position. It might take a little bit longer, but you are, in many cases, depending on the role, uh, likelier to hire that person than, it, it, than for a front-end position. Because if you're looking for front-end developers, uh, the likelihood of you finding someone who's actually not that good is very, very high. Simply because there are more people uh, due to the general pattern of uh, beginners and, uh, and uh, so forth try, uh, getting into front-end as opposed to back-end. Because most people feel, more, feels that, feel that it is a little bit easier to get started in front-end development than in hardcore back-end development. So what I want you to take away from this is that no, there are not too many front-end developers. Uh, 
there are too many bad ones. Uh, from a hiring perspective, it's not super, super fun hiring front-end developers because you simply have to put in more time in going through CVs than with anyone else uh, with any other role that I know of. It's just endless uh, it's time spent just going through CV by CV by CV. It's sort of like buying shampoo or something like that, where there are so many there are so many options everybody claims to have the same sort of skills and then you talk to them and you sort of hear immediately that they don't actually know any of this stuff like or rather they have a skin deep understanding of front end stuff they've learned a few a few like the they've learned the basics but they don't actually and even like the some of the more senior ones the so called senior programmers within this field in many cases don't actually know the first thing about front end development apart from those basic tools that they learned on their first weeks doing the job uh, and I don't think that the competition is going to go up all that much the requirements are going up like the skills necessary to be effective at front-end development is increasing it's getting to the point where as I like to say if the best front-end developers are full-stack developers because you a lot of naive and ignorant front-end developers think that everything that they do is related to the UI when the reality is that they basically are in a full-stack position almost all the time because there are a lot of uh, surrounding tools and other service-side concepts that they will need to understand in order to be effective at the job and so that those those requirements are already there and they're going to go up uh, i can promise you that much but the competition between people is not i don't think that that's going to go anywhere because we simply have so few software developers that even if you infused us with millions of people at this point it, it would actually just fix a bigger problem without m much in uh, without it becoming much of an issue for the people who are competing for the same social positions have a great day